Tops Professional Flex Data Setup. In this course, we will go through the process of setting up flex data fields. We will discuss the different types of flex data fields and create categories to keep our fields organized. This is an interactive course. There will be areas in this course where you will need to type or click to continue with the lesson. Within TOPS, you can create an unlimited number of owner flex fields which can be used to track information that you might typically use a spreadsheet or secondary database to store. These fields can easily be searched and reported on and they can also be merged into form letters. There are two ways to access flex data within TOPS. You can either click the Customize menu and then Unlimited Flex Data Or you can click on Owner, Maintain, then select an owner, and click Flex Data. Both methods will bring up the same screen. The first step to setting up a flex field is giving the field a name. Because this is the first time setting up flex fields for this community, we only have the default category, so for now, we'll ignore that column. Next, we'll choose the type of field we're creating. Since this field is for the name of the owner's emergency contact, we'll want the data in this field to be text. Our next field will be for the emergency contact's phone number. Again, this will be a text field. Our next field will be the emergency contact's email address. This too will be a text field, but this time let's take a look at the options we have for our text fields. Within the advanced options, you have the ability to choose the display type for the text, select whether the data in the field remains with the unit on resale, choose to post the information from this field to a TOPS community website, and set a default value for this field. Our display type options allow us to choose different format types for our text. The different options are general, which is just standard text, email address, web link, or multi-line, which allows you to create a note type field. Since this is an email address field, we'll select that as our display type. Then click OK to save. Our next field will be for the unit's parking space. Because our spaces are numbered, we'll change the field type to number. Let's also take a look at the options for number fields. There are three different formatting options for number fields. Those options are whole number, decimal, and currency. Since this is a parking space, we'll choose whole number. And because the parking space number is assigned to the unit and not the owner, we'll check the box to have the data for this field stay with the unit on resale. Then we'll click OK to save these settings. Our next field will allow us to track the type of parking space for this unit. Since there are only two possible types of parking spaces in this community, we'll set this field up as a pick list. Clicking the Options button, will allow us to set up the different values that can be chosen for this field. Just press the Enter key after putting in the first value to move to the next line and enter the next value. Since this parking information is also tied to the unit and not the owner, we'll again check the box to have the data in this field stay with the unit on resale, and then click OK. Now it's your turn to create some fields. Click in the empty cell below the parking type field. Now type the name pet type and then click the drop down arrow next to text in the type column. 
Because there are only two types of pets allowed in this community, we'll make this field a pick list also. Click on List from the options here. Now, click on the Options button to add our list choices. The two types of pets allowed in this community are dogs and cats. Type Dog into the List Item box and then press Enter. Now type Cat in the List Item box and press Enter. Because this information is specific to the owner and not the unit, we wouldn't want this information to remain with the unit after a resale, so just click OK to save this field. Let's set up another field. Click in the empty cell below the Pet Type field. This community limits owners to having small animals, so there is a restriction on the weight of the pet which requires certification. Type the name Pet Weight into the field name area and then click the drop down arrow next to text in the type column. Since the weight of the pet is numerical, this should be a number field. Click on number from the options here. Now click on the options button to set our number type. The field is already set to whole number, which is what we're looking for. Click OK to save this field. We have just a couple more fields to set up. Click in the empty cell below the pet weight field to create our next one. The weight restriction for this community is a recent addition to the rules. Some owners have pets that are outside of this restriction because they were owned before this new rule was passed, so they're grandfathered in and we need to know which owners have those grandfathered pets. Type the name Pet Grandfathered into the field name area and then click the drop down arrow next to Number in the Type column. Since this is essentially a yes or no question, is the pet grandfathered, this field would be perfect as a checkbox. Click on Checkbox from the options here. Now, click on the Options button to see what options we have for a checkbox type field. As you can see, there are no special options for a checkbox field other than choosing to have the box automatically checked by default. Click OK to save this field. Just one more field and then we're done. Click in the empty cell below the Pet Grandfathered field to create our last field. This community requires all pets to be up to date on their vaccines and all pet owners must provide proof of vaccination, which the association tracks and then they use this information to notify the owner when they need to provide updated information. Type the name Pet Vaccinated into the field name area and then click the drop down arrow next to text in the type column. Since we not only need to know if they've been vaccinated, but also how long it's been since the last vaccination, this field is best suited as a date field, which can be used to answer both these needs. Click on Date from the options here. Now, click on the Options button to see what options we have for a date field. Like the checkbox field, there are no special options for date fields other than choosing the current date as the default date. Click OK to save this field. At this point, we've completed setting up all of our fields. Click OK to exit this screen. All of the fields that we created are now available for us to enter the data into for each owner. Unfortunately, though, they're all together in one long list in the order they were entered. What if you need to add another emergency contact field? It would be best to have that field up at the top with the other emergency contact fields. It would also be helpful to not have to scroll through a long list of fields to easily find the one we're looking for. To do this, we'll need to create additional field categories and then arrange the fields into those categories. All of this can be done by clicking the Arrange button. First, let's take care of adding our categories. You have to have at least one category, so you can't delete the default category, but you can rename it. We'll select the default category, and then click Edit. Now let's change the name to Emergency Contact to match our first group of fields, and then click OK. Next, we'll add categories for our other two groups of fields. The first category to add is Parking, and we'll click OK to save this category. Then we'll click Add again, name this category Pet, 
and then click OK to add it to. Once we've completed adding our categories, just click Close to exit this screen. Remember when we were entering our fields and the only category we had was default? Now, if we were to enter a new field, we'd be able to choose from these three categories. Since the categories weren't available to us when we set up our fields, we'll now need to move our fields into the new categories. This is a simple drag and drop interface. To move the first parking field into the parking category, we'll just click on the parking space field name and drag it into the parking column. We'll do the same with the parking type field. Just click and hold to grab the field and then drag it into the parking column. Next will be the pet fields. We'll click and hold and drag the pet type field the pet weight field and the pet grandfathered field. Why don't you move the last field over? Just click and hold on the pet vaccination field and then drag it to the pet column under the pet grandfathered field. Perfect! Now click on the save button to save these changes and then click close to exit this screen. Now you can see our emergency contact fields are within the emergency contact tab and our email field has a button which will allow you to open a new email message to the address entered into this field. The parking fields are in the parking tab and if you click on the parking type field it will display our two options to choose from. And our pet fields are in the pet tab. If you click the pet type field, then we can see our choices of pet type options. If you click on the pet vaccination field, then our calendar comes up so we can choose a date. This completes our TOPS Professional Flex Data Setup course. Thank you.